What's up, my favorite people, my soul fam? My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my ride and dies. Thank you guys for the donations, the love, the emails, the support. I really, really appreciate it. I love you from the bottom of my heart. All right, new subscribers, welcome. And I'm so, 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 so honored. Thank you for your support and uh, the the comments that's been, been given to me is really, really appreciative. For those of you that clicked here on the first time, welcome. Guys, I do have a quick disclaimer here. Um, I want, if you have been heartbroken, uh, ghosted, uh, obsessed about a relationship, can't stop thinking about a person, um, you need to go to the series, Do You Really Want Them Back? If you have not seen it, okay? Um, go to it, listen to it. If you're not ready to put the work in towards doing it, at least you have the information. I did those readings. I put a lot of time in it. I sat down with spirit and let spirit lead God and direct. And I need you to go and, if, and look at it and listen to it. It's going to help you. Okay, enough of that. All right. So now we're going to get into this reading. It's a quick read. If you're here for the first time, I'm not going to go into my introduction. I'm going to send you to the description box. But I want to say, if you are vibing with me right now and I'm vibing with you, go on and hit that subscribe button. It ain't going to hurt. Go on and hit it. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get my roll on. All right. We are honoring the sign of high C. That's it. Bam. There it is. Pisces. Love you, Pisces. All right. Okay. So I'm going to be channeling um, what they did wrong, what they feel that they've done wrong to you. Okay. Because this could be for closure for you so you can gain some understanding of how an acknowledgement that they did do you wrong from their perspective. What did, how do they feel like they did you wrong? Then I'm going to channel, um, the apology. Okay. All right. For those of you who needs closure. Okay. Have never gotten closure. All right. So we got that. Then we're going to have initials, love messages, and love Oracle. All right. So, so in their opinion, what they did wrong Okay, it's not, it's guardian. Okay, I got guardian. And then I have, for clarification, I have confrontation. So what I get out of here is that it's, it's, this is, this right here is a very, very deep connection. It's a spiritual connection. Um, one person, this person right here, um, is was was more evolved this person um was more um more spiritual um uh, nine times out of ten this person was have psychic abilities enlightenment from the divine download spiritual team teaching them spiritual um spiritual lessons and for this person, this relationship um, was a lesson, spiritual lesson. They learned a lot in this relationship. And they took this relationship serious. So much so that in the spiritual realm, they are called the guardian. They are the guardian of this relationship. Okay? Um... But what happened here? See, because this is 44, a master number, a very special um, connection uh, where this connection was supposed to be stable, grounded, rooted. It's 4-4. Four, four. Um, stability. So that's just that's stability in a um, 
magnitude, a magnitude of stable and stability. Um, someone, so what happened here is that this person here took over the relationship to ground it. This person took a lot of abuse, a lot of neglect, a lot of um, negativity, um, took on that energy and transmuted the energy to try to ground the relationship. However, their lesson was to, their lesson to learn was not to place a people, play, people, person, place, or thing above yourself. Okay. Um, it's okay to, to have a relationship and ground a relationship. It's okay to bring stability, but it takes two people to have a partnership. If the other person is not putting in their part, then the relationship is not going to be successful. It takes two people to give and to take and to love and to, um, establish a healthy relationship. Um, just like it takes two people to have communication. You can't communicate by yourself. So it's a lot of aspects to this relationship. This person was trying to ground the relationship, trying to transmute the energy and make it positive where this person was just looking at this person. Do, do it. Okay. They just standing there looking at them. Do it. They're not giving. They feel small. They feel like, you know, Hey, if they're going to do it, do it. So this person here was doing that and will be met with a lot of confrontation. This person, this, this person here will be confrontational when they try to tell them about spiritual matters and trying to heal them and try to um, transmute the energy and try to stay positive. This person didn't want to learn nothing. They didn't want to establish that um, healthy bond with this person. They met them with confrontation, you know, confrontation and negative energy, pessimistic uh, energy. So the more this person worked, the more this person confronted and sent negative energy. So that is what was wrong, what they did wrong. What they did wrong in this relationship is they took you for granted. They took, someone took someone for granted didn't give, didn't, didn't give their part, didn't, um, communicate, didn't listen, didn't do what they were supposed to do on their end to have a healthy relationship. What they did was, was take, 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 um, uh, you try to, uh, manipulate and control this person because this person, look, this person is big. This person is small. So this person looked to this person and when they looked at them, they seen them as being some so much more than them. Instead of them elevating themselves and um, healing themselves so they can level up, they uh, because they felt small and insecure, this person always met with confrontation. They was already, always... Um, confrontational because they was insecure. All right. So what they want to say, what do, what do they want to apologize? How they want to apologize to you and say, I'm sorry. I see now that, um, I see what you, what you, let me just say this. Um, I've never really big on apology, apologizing, looking at me, looking at um, things that I did wrong or saying that I'm doing wrong, but I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. The things that I did to you, you've never done anything wrong to me. You've always meant good. You always um, tried to lift me up. You always um, gave me a list, a good listen, a good good um, word. You always sent me love. You always gave me love, and it was no reason for me to treat the, treat you the way that I did. 
there was no reason for the harsh words and the ghosting and the cheating. It was, it was no reason. It was all me. It was nothing wrong with you. You're beautiful. And I, and to be honest, to be honest, you're so beautiful that I don't even deserve you, to be honest. Um, you can have anybody you want, but you wanted me. And I was insecure because I couldn't believe that a person like you could want someone like me. I feel small compared to you. You are big, you are abundant, you're beautiful. And when you walk in a room, so many people look at you and, you know, talk to you and, and everything. And I just feel so small around you. And I just want to tell you, take this time to tell you that I am so sorry for the way that I treated you because you did not deserve it. You deserve so much more than what I have have given you. And if I knew that I can get another chance with you, I would take it and things will be 100% better because I truly see your potential. I truly see who you are and I want to be where you are. Okay, so that is what they want to say. Initials, we have... Initials and charms. We have blessed. This person feels like you are blessed and you are a blessing to them. Like they said, you are beautiful. Um, grace. You have so much grace and just so much. It's so much there. They see your warrior spirit. They know that you are protected. Um. They, they can't imagine a life without you. Strong is beautiful and beautiful you are. They have transformed or are transforming. We have the fall. We have a leaf. Something significant is happening in the fall. It could be a love offer because we have a heart right here. Okay. We have two hearts. So it definitely could be a love offer. Okay. Somebody wants to give you flowers. Okay. And they want to wine and dine you, have a drink with you, talk with you, communicate with you, lay, they, lay everything down on the line with you. Okay, so we have M, we have A, we have M, we have J, we have S, we have L, we have Y, we have E, we have Q, we have P. All right. So your love messages, this could be for this connection here, or this could be for anybody who has clicked on. Um, I ride, oh, okay. I ride by your house to see if I can get a glance of you. Okay, so this could be somebody actually doing that, or this could be someone who wishes they can drive by their house, by your house and just get a glimpse of you. This could be someone's thought. They just want to see you. If they can just ride by the, by your house, by your job, just to see you walk in the door, just to get a glimpse of you, this is what they want. Um, I have not told you yet, but I am, <laughs> but I am pregnant and want to have a family with you. Okay, so somebody, this is specific. Okay, this is somebody's specific message. Somebody is pregnant and they want to have a family. They have not told you that they're pregnant. All right, I am so sorry for the way I have treated you. Okay, we have confirmation, all right? I want you back so bad. Somebody wants the relation back, relationship so bad, wants you back so bad, but we already established that if that energy and that connection is not stable, it's not and grounded, it's not gonna come together, all right? All right, so your oracle, your love oracle is slow down. Somebody in the connection needs to slow down. They need to pause and allow things to unfold naturally. So somebody needs to slow down. That's all. That's it. Period. There's nothing else to say. Slow it down. Okay. Take your time. 
pull back, you know, pull back, start praying, meditating, doing something else other than thinking about this relationship. Okay. All right. So this has been your reading Pisces. Um, I hope it resonated. If it did, uh, let me know, uh, tell me your story. If you like it, if you don't, all right, um, share, 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 um, subscribe. If I'm vibing with you and you vibing with me, go ahead and subscribe. Comment, 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 guys. Okay. In, uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, go to the description box. Okay. Um, daily, um, reads or insp I'm leaning towards ins more inspirational stuff, uh, for your day, um, than tarot, but don't miss out. Okay. All right. So what I want to say is that I love you very, very much. I want to tell you, I want you to, um, wear your mask, wash your hands, take care of your family. I want you to be healthy. Okay. I want you to know that indeed black lives matters, but your, but your life matter as well. I want to tell you that I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing and Trinity is